Good evening and welcome to 60 Minutes. Every 10 minutes in Australia, somebody suffers a stroke. It's our second biggest killer and has left nearly half a million survivors living with crippling disability. But despite the dramatic medical advances in other fields, there's only so much that can be done for a stroke patient, which makes the work of one clinic in America so tantalising. Its results have to be seen to be believed. The therapy is controversial and heavily criticised, but the patients say it's truly miraculous. Can you please count from one to ten? Every minute of Linda Lumbra's daily life is a frustrating struggle. She suffered a stroke three years ago, which left this teacher barely able to walk or talk. Four, five. Doctors have told her this is how she'll be forever. That's why Linda's travelled to this Florida clinic to try a controversial new stroke treatment. Well, I can understand why you would... The speech is, makes it very frustrating. <laughs> it's her last shot. One injection of a drug called etanocept into her spinal cord at the back of the neck. What's different? Ah. A brief few minutes pass to let the drug flow to her brain. It's clear. 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 Okay. And not even Linda, or the doctors here, expect what happens next. Okay, did it look cloudy? Uh -huh. Okay, now it's clear. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh my, my. It was a bullseye hit on the pathology that was interfering with her brain function. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing yeah. super fine. Using etanocept in this way on stroke patients is groundbreaking. So crisp. One, two. The conventional and approved use of etanocept is for the treatment of severe arthritis. Can you bring it up? But Dr. Ed Tobinick has 700 stroke patients who've received this treatment at his Florida clinic. Little stick. An anti-inflammatory, it attacks or blocks the buildup in the brain of a molecule called TNF, or tumor necrosis factor. In stroke, what happens is there's an inflammatory response, a chronic inflammatory response that is caused by the stroke. Etanocept works by neutralizing that chemical TNF, thereby improving the ability of brain areas to communicate with each other. Hi, Charlie, nice to see you. I'm gonna give you a few words to repeat. One we featured Dr. Tobinick on 60 Minutes in 2011. And can you tell me who is the US president? When he used the same drug, injected the same way, on Alzheimer's patients. Charlie, who, who is the president of the United States? <laughs> Obama. Yes. Dr. Tobinick now claims his unorthodox treatment can aid stroke recovery. Okay, you'll feel a little stick just for a second. We see improvements in cognition. We see improvements in motor function. We see improvements in spasticity. We see improvements in pain. 617 stroke cases. It's those improvements that 52-year-old Linda Lumbra and husband Benny have been searching for. How would you describe your wife before this happened? Oh, very outgoing, people person. Loved to chat with people and visit and, you know, help people also. <laughs> Linda collapsed while teaching in her classroom in late 2010. <laughs> It was a massive stroke following an epileptic seizure. She lost virtually all speech, and Linda's left side fell limp and numb. Touch your nose. Traditional stroke therapy could only do so much. And after six months in rehabilitation, Linda was sent home. 
This must have been heartbreaking, watching your wife become this person. When she first came home, she couldn't even do stairs. It was a struggle to do bathing. Couldn't prepare meals. She had a diff very difficult time. And she always was very independent, and it, it was hard. So to see her become the complete opposite of that must have been terrible for you. Well, it, it was like a shock almost. You know, we, you thought, you know, she's going to get better, progressively better, and as time goes on, and yeah, a little bit, a little bit, but not really what I thought as time went on. So I was like, well, maybe this is the way it's going to be, and we need to learn how to deal with this. Well, she'd get frustrated. She'd Linda's twin daughters, frustrated. Christy and Casey, struggled to accept there was not much more that could be done for Linda. It's hard. My mother was a teacher. That's who she was. And I think it's hard to watch your mother not know who she is anymore. Because that's, she was a mom and she was a teacher. And then when that's gone, she she's trying, a different person. Yeah, she's trying to find her place. Okay, now you want to take this by hand or put it in the oh, bag? No, I'm taking it on board. Like Linda, Antoinette Papa from Brisbane knows the pain and suffering of stroke. <sighs> You right there, baby? Yeah. Um, with husband Carlo, she's making the long journey to America for an appointment with Dr. Tobin. For 12 years, she's lived with paralysis and constant pain. And she's been searching for any treatment that may help. Now, she's willing to try the Etanacept spinal injection. What are you hoping it will do for you? We have talked about a lot. We'd be happy between 5 and 10% improvement. For me, if I could get rid of some of this tightness in my arm, that would make a huge difference. Because it's not just sort of makes things difficult, but it's also quite painful. Having the stretches is very painful. So it's, it's not a pleasant thing, and it's a very hard condition to treat with anything else. So if you could get a very slight improvement in the least? I'd be very, very happy, yeah. Turn your head to the left. The Etanacept injection will not reverse paralysis in stroke patients like Antoinette. Can you squeeze? But Dr Tobinick believes it can decrease severe muscle spasticity and ease post-stroke pain. Go ahead. One of the most crippling effects of stroke for which there's little treatment. No. The shoulder pain, is that something you have every day? Yeah, just about every day, yeah. But if I try to move your wrist up, is that uncomfortable? Yes, it is. Yeah. Just a little motion is uncomfortable, OK. It's really tight. Antoinette is also somewhat of a guinea pig. She'll be the clinic's first stroke patient to undergo a sophisticated 3D brain scan following the injection. All done. To see how blood flow and activity are affected or improved by the drug. Coming up. Antoinette's amazing results. That's quite spectacular. <sighs> and the incredible moment. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. Linda wakes up. Woohoo! It, it worked. Welcome back to 60 Minutes and the extraordinary new stroke therapy transforming lives. When Linda Lumbra suffered a stroke three years ago, she lost her speech and struggled to walk. And like so many stroke victims, rehabilitation could only do so much. But then she heard about a controversial injection that was reducing the effects of stroke. It isn't fully tested and is viewed cynically by many neurologists. But that hasn't stopped Linda and the results are something to see. What's different? Ah. It's only been a brief few minutes since Linda Lumbra received that injection of etanocept at the base of her brain. It's clear, clear. Clear. She's been tipped upside down to allow the medicine to flow into her brain. Oh my. Remember, this is stroke affected Linda just before the injection. Uh, uh, one, two, 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 two. Oh, 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 my eye. Moments after the shot, she sits up. <sighs> the change in Linda is something to behold. It, it's gone. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Woohoo! It, it worked. <laughs> uh, on me. Yeah. <laughs> 
in here is clear. Hi! It's me! It's truly a miracle. It happens all so quickly, and it's done. <laughs> and before you know it, it's all over with, and then boom. I can talk. I can walk. We felt it was likely that she would improve. <sighs> to improve almost back to normal was just spectacular and wonderful and gratifying and, and very, very moving to watch. Hi. How would you describe yourself before and then after the injection? It's just truly amazing. The change is absolutely miraculous. It's amazing. Every day there seems to be something that's like, oh, oh, I can do that now. It's amazing. Back at home with her family, Linda Lumbra is full of life. It's Maple Sunday. Main Maple Sunday on Sunday. Elizabeth Brown entered the world skinny, nearsighted, and shy. It's hard to believe that this simple joy of reading to her grandchildren was impossible just eight weeks before. Well, I described it like, if you think of your mind as like a window, and the window is always dirty, it's, it's got this film, filthy film on it, and no matter how hard you scrub, it will not go away. That was my mind. And I literally would see uh, words, and then if you could get the words in an order, that would make some sense, then to try to get those words to actually come out of your mouth correctly, that didn't work well either. Sissy got on the phone, she goes, Mammy, you sound funny. For Linda's twin daughters, Christy and Casey, they have quite simply got their mum back. <laughs> Can you talk to Mammy? Can you talk to Mammy? It's amazing and humbling and something that you can't describe when your mother leaves and she can't pick up your newborn son and then she comes home and she can. Huh? Talk to me. Hi. And now she changes diapers and, <laughs> and uh, babysits and, you know, yeah. here go, Mom. <laughs> Do you believe what's happened to your mom is a miracle? Yes. yes. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> It yeah. just is mind-blowing, and there's no words besides that it's an amazing miracle that so many people should be able to experience. Can't work on no stupid car. Linda's almost total post-stroke recovery oh is just astounding. Can you measure the extent of your recovery? I didn't think I'd be completely me. I really didn't think it would be as profound in, as it actually turned out to be. But I thought, you know, if I can just have my speech back, because I want to be able to think and, and speak yeah. correctly. And if I can't have the physical part back, that's okay. I can deal with that. But to get it all back, it, it's... It's truly a miracle. But this stroke treatment has critics who don't think it's so miraculous. Well, I believe anyone who offers a TANICEP for post-stroke plasticity in the current uh, state of the evidence is a snake oil salesman. The blockage is right here. Neurology professor Dr. Jeffrey Saver is the director of the acclaimed stroke unit at the University of California. He says Dr. Tobinick's work hasn't been subjected to independent clinical trials. In medicine, the way to prove a treatment works is the placebo-controlled trial because we know that the placebo response, the tendency of the body 
to respond to hope is remarkable. And the only way to tell that a particular treatment is better than chance is to compare that treatment to a placebo. Uh, and that has not occurred with this therapy. So I would say uh, the only proven effect of this treatment in post-stroke disability is to separate patients from their money. Okay, you're gonna feel a little sick just for a second. The injection can cost patients without health insurance up to $6,000. And the American Academy of Neurology has written a draft warning about etanercept injections for stroke patients. They've concluded that because of the potential for serious adverse outcomes and high cost, clinicians should not offer etanercept to post-stroke disability patients unless treatment is part of a research study. Yes. Does that put an end to what you're doing? Well, I think that that conclusion is still a draft, draft conclusion. And um, we don't feel that that is scientifically accurate um, or a proper conclusion. Is it possible, though, that Dr. Tobinick is onto something here? It's always possible that something might work. Um, pigs might fly. Uh, the sun might not come up. And it's also the case that we in um, traditional neurology are wide open to treatments that seem to come out of left field. We have no reason not to jump for joy. You're not jumping for joy. Unfortunately, I'm not jumping for joy because the evidence is not there. Still uncomfortable if we touch it? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Tobinick acknowledges his treatment won't work for everyone. It's only another few minutes. He says one in five will show no significant response. Q, foster, a state. Out of the hundreds of his patients what? who have shown improvement, Fire. many, like Linda, are quick to answer the critics. I, I remember how to read. <laughs> okay. I, I don't get it because have they viewed any of the people who have agreed to be taped when they've received the treatment? Have they read anything? Have they talked to any of us? Because I invite them to. I would tell them to take a look at me. How much more proof do you need? They think it seems too good to be true, sounds too good to be true. But if you just look, there's no denying it. There's no doubt Linda's recovery is remarkable, but will it last? The short answer is nobody knows. There are no guarantees and no long-term research yet. Should the effects begin to wear off, patients like Linda say they're more than happy to return to Dr. Tobinick for another shot. We don't know if, if the effect will be permanent um, because I, we only have several years of experience. I think it's reasonable to think that it could be long lasting based on what we've seen with other patients. Dr. Tobinick is pushing ahead with his own science and evidence to back his work, like mapping the brain to see where the etanocept flows and how or why it seems to improve brain function. Antoinette Papa from Brisbane is his first patient to undergo the test. When there's a red area like we see, that indicates a more than three and a half times a standard wow. deviations Amazing. improvement in blood flow in that area, and that's wow. quite spectacular. Before the etanocept treatment, Antoinette's brain looked like this. One day later, there were six red spots on the scan they indicate new activity in the brain. Blood flow appears to have returned to areas previously affected by her stroke. I think that what we're seeing um, represents uh, a transformation from uh, what's called a stunned brain, where the brain cells are actually essentially hibernating, they're not able to communicate, to um, a state where the brain cells in, that, in these areas have woken up. Later, Antoinette says she can feel what the scan shows. Do you have less pain now than you did yes, before? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Importantly for her, more flexibility in her paralyzed side and significantly less pain. Look at that. Pain? No. That's... 162 degrees with a pain of six. Now we had 170 with a pain of zero. Wow. That's amazing. It really is amazing. You know, it's like in a couple of days to 
to have increased by that much without having to do a whole lot of physical exercise to get there mm. is just incredible. Any pain? Zero to ten? About a one. What exactly has changed or improved? Well, that pain is a big one. Okay. And the increased mobility and the, my, the fact that my arm is so much looser, it's fantastic. Some people are cynical of this treatment. Yeah. For you, is it, is it real? It's not just a placebo Absolutely effect? Absolutely real, yeah. But after your stroke, you must have felt as if you were housebound. Yes, it was difficult to get out and about unless somebody was willing to take you. But For now, Linda Lumbra, the days of pain, disability and isolation are over. I avoided a lot of places, many people. Simple things like just going to the supermarket became too hard. Totally avoided it. I could be looking at the section of with cheese, for example, and say I needed, you know, provolone cheese or whatever. I could be looking and look and look and look, and it would take several minutes to locate what it was I needed and decide, okay, that's the right one. Got your list? Yes. But now, Linda can take an easy walk down the supermarket aisle again. To tell me the difference now, ah. standing on this spot. I want provolone cheese. Yep. That is as easy as that now. Oh, yeah. That's not a problem. No. Keeping up with Linda is the new challenge. So now I have to try and keep up with you because you're off, right? Okay. You know, that's what Fine. Then he says. <laughs> He says, it's back to old times. Yeah. He's got to keep up with me. All right, I'll follow you. OK. You've got the list? It's like someone's reached into your brain and flicked the on switch. It's quite incredible. It's like, life's back, and I'm ready. I, like you say, that light, all that fog's gone. Um, you can think, you can talk, and all that numbness, that t your your uh, mobility, you've got everything, it's all back, so you've got all this time to make up for. And so I'm not letting any dust settle.